we got beat in the evening by Good Evening. That's Good what evening. Today, yeah. basically. <laughs> and he did a number on us today. And yeah, give Villa credit, 100%. They disrupted our play. They Emery actually changed his tactics today. It's ended 1-0 at Villa Park. It's Tunnel TV as always. FX. Nigerian English man. <sighs> Aston Villa won. Arsenal nil. Very good goal from McGinn, the captain. That was just about it from Villa. The strategy worked from Emery tonight. I mean, um, Nigerian English man, the game wasn't what you expected per se. You were saying it from like the 60th minute that, nah, it's not today. It's not the Arsenal you know. Kind of saw that you guys were going to lose this game, innit? Oh, yeah, now, my people, my people. We are here. Mm. Arsenal, another loss. That's two losses in the Premier League before Christmas. It doesn't look good, bruv. And today, again, the problem that we've been having all season is just continuing. No midfield. If Rice can't carry the midfield, we don't have any ideas. Rice had a poor game. So the, the result was inevitable because he can't carry us every week. He's been doing his best. He's been giving us seven, eight, nine out of tens every week since he's been at the club. But there was always going to be this moment where he couldn't give it to us. And the rest of the teammates were supposed to pick him up. And they didn't, especially our captain today, who's treading on thin ice. Another shocking performance from him. Two clear-cut chances wasted. When he's supposed to be putting the team on his neck, on his back. Yeah, he should have smashed down. that in the first half. Kind of wanted to side foot that. But I mean, you have to give a lot of credit to Una Emery side. 15 games in a row at home. 45 points picked up. Um, amazing run of form at home. Very difficult side. They beat Manchester City during the week. They've beaten uh, uh, the runners up, you know, beating the champions and the runners up in just one week. That's, that's, no, that's no lucky feat, per se. You've got to give credit yeah, to Unai, your sure. former manager. We got beat in the evening by good evening. That's good what evening, today, yeah. Basically. <laughs> and he did a number on us today. And yeah, give Villa credit, 100%. They disrupted our play. They, Emery actually changed his tactics today. What I saw today is they actually gave us more respect than they did City. Because they came and played their game. They rained chance after chance against City, where against us, they sat back took their one chance and they're ready to sit on that 1-0 for the rest of the game, which is not something I'm used to when it comes to Unai Emery's side. So, But he got the tactics right. All our boys threw the, the toys out of the pram today. Daddy wasn't on the sidelines to look after them and they didn't know what to do. They looked confused. And I saw a bunch of kids on the pitch today, not men, that were supposed to stand up and show that they're in this title race to the end. Liverpool started off the day, 12.30 kickoff, got the job done, 1-0 down. It was a chance to, to get the job done today and everybody had a shocking performance. Everybody, from start from the first player to the last, horrible. The substitutes as well, horrible. I, I, don't know what, I don't know what went wrong today. I hope it was just a brain fart and it was one of those one-off games and we're about to go on a crazy run of wins right now. I hope so, but today it looks like another hangover from the Luton game. We look off then, we got away with it then. We can't keep like waiting until the last minutes in the game to turn things on. We looked active again. I don't know what happened. I'm not too sure what happened with the VAR decision, but I'm not a fan that wants to rely on VAR decisions to win games. Yeah. If we got the game done in the 90 minutes with, with the chances that we created, we wouldn't be dwelling on a, a potential VAR situation. But these boys, the next couple of games are crucial. We've got, in the next two days, we're going to Anfield, the scariest stadium in the Premier League. I hear you. I hear you, Nigerian English man. This is the first time I've actually seen you rant this much. Every time I come into the studio, it's like I'm the good luck charm for Arsenal. Mm. You guys always get that last minute win. I mean, time and time again, you guys have scored in the dying minutes of, in the Premier League. This season alone, you've done it by like six occasions, five to six times. Um, something had to give. Um, losing Arteta, as you mentioned, um, uh, from that ban against celebration, which I still don't understand. Don't so, yeah, they're, they're trying to spoil football, in my nice. opinion. You know, but um, Ateta in the stands, giving out instructions one way or the other, writing notes, passing it across to the man sitting across to him. It just in what, what wasn't enough, really. You know, he, he needed that presence, and you're right, the kids. But, I mean, you've got to bounce back. 
do you guys now dig deep and say Zinchenko is not that guy as a left back? Do we go into the January window and do buy, and actually buy a natural left back? I mean, you've got um, Timber injured, so God knows when. Is that the motive for Arsenal? Um, January window, which is just less than a month away. I think most importantly is getting that midfield fix. I still don't like Kai in the midfield, personally. He's been playing well, our informed player in the team, for sure. But since he's been added to that midfield, we don't look as smooth in midfield as we did last season. And that's the one difference that we have. Obviously, we don't, we're missing Partey, but Rice slots in very comfortably in that number six role. But Havertz, as well as he's been playing, we've not found a way to have him involved and we create multiple chances, like good chances that we were create, creating last season. So the midfield situation, a box-to-box -box midfielder that can link the defence to the attack, that is what we need. And until we get that, I, I can't see us winning this title. But that's why I say we need to stick, in, stick as close to the top as possible until the January window, buy one, hopefully at least two signings. If we can get that striker as well to complement, because I don't think Jesus is the issue. My issue is the second option is Eddie. If our second option stops being Eddie and Ketty, I think we'll be fine. If we get better than Eddie as our second option, we'll be fine. But today, it was a shambles from start to finish. Everyone was horrible, man. I don't know what Arsenal we saw today. Well, guys, we've heard it here. Uh, it's FX. It's uh, Nigerian English, man. Aston Villa did it. Uh, they got their revenge. They lost the last one, 4-2. But this time around, good evening gets his revenge. Peace. Thank <laughs> you.